Hey guys, it's Oka3, and welcome to the rest of this video. I am... Bleh. No, I'm not, I'm not sad, I'm just tired, and I'm very, very glad that this is over. So, once we got back to Nineball Island, Gene Eric starts talking to us. Good work treating those seals at Cicero Strait. The conservation group are very grateful for the support you have given them. So they've sent another token of their appreciation. Couture fins. 2000p. They also sent in their report on the incident, and it seems that the reason why the monk seals were so far from their colony was because tourists were scaring them just for fun. Holy fuck, that was crap. They said in this time, well, if we hadn't been quick enough, the numbers of the precious few monk seals of Cicero Strait would have decreased. They would be even closer to extinction. Are monk seal numbers really that low? Seriously, tourists? That's just bastard like. There are plenty of them in the past, but they were hunted for food and fur, and lost their traditional habitats to human expansion. For those and other reasons, there are now only a few hundred of them. Oh no. It's not even their fault. Oh no, don't look so sad. Few as they may be, those seals should be grateful to you. Thanks, Grandpa. That's it. New fins. 2000p. We're getting bitch slapped by Thanatos' tail at least four times. Not worth it, my friends. Not worth it at all. No, sir. Not one bit. Not one bit. No. No! No! Um. Well, this is like the most hilarious thing I've ever seen. I'm gonna see what happens when you sit in the hammock. That's one thing I haven't done yet. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Relaxing. Two thousand bar! No, I should stop yelling, because it's you know. Half past 11 p.m. <laughs> Should have thought that through. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. What do you say, GG? Just anything? Yes, read it, because you're boring. Go away, I don't like you. So, Ayaka, how are you doing? Thank you so much for all your hard work with animals. Here's a new title for your efforts. Oh yeah, by the way, I enjoy making my uh, yeah. Um, I talked to her about the aquarium, and she said if you've got 70 species, then you know the aquarium can open. So I'm going to do that now. Might as well, cause I've got time left. Um, cause I'm gonna make this into a new video probably or something, just cause it makes it easier in terms of life. Cause I don't know how long the video or videos are of the original Mabobla. You know what I mean. Of the original seal finding. Ah! Good news! The aquarium will open tomorrow. Despite a number of last minute problems, the aquarium will open on time. This is all thanks to you and Mr. Enoshima. Please accept my thanks. I do. Why are you pinching your nose? The aquarium may finally be open, but no one knows about it yet. There probably won't be many visitors to start with, but I'm sure your fantastic displays will draw lots of people here. I will serve as the deputy curator of the aquarium. I'll have my total support, so please devote yourself to arranging the displays. If you have questions about the aquarium, come to the staff room over there. As you're responsible for the displays, do you have any questions? What about payment? So you have a percentage of the ticket sales revenue for your work. Quite simple, the more visitors you attract, the more you earn. You're paid daily, so come to the staff room to collect your earnings. As you're responsible for the displays, do you have any? Yeah. I'm gonna bring in more visitors. Please visit number of lights playing lots of trips. <laughs> Border displays are always the same, so it's important to change them regularly. Creating displays based on current trends and topics should also be popular. Try to display newly discovered creatures as well. As you're responsible for them. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna change some display around. You have questions about the yeah. You already told me that, madam. Yep, I know it's the aquarium in Japan. You don't need to tell me, boy. Wait, was that getting to the tank? I think it was. Oh well. Right. Water placement. Um, let's clear all slots. 
Right. We obviously want whales. I think we want... Actually, no, we don't want a blue whale. We want a whale shark. Only one, though. We want... Tiger Shark. We can't get Thanatos. That's annoying. Actually, it's awesome, I think, because Thanatos is fucking scary. Let's have some nice looking regular dolphins in here as well. And then have some small fish. Angel fish. Flame angel fish, because they look fucking cool. Queen? No. Friend Coonfish. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna get rid of the common dolphin. Put in two smaller fish. Flying fish. No. Octopus. That'll do. Sorry, this part was boring again. Um, I just felt like doing some placements. But seriously, these guys are huge. Look at that. Look at that. It's like twice the size of Partario. Um, what happens if we surface? Well, that was hilarious. Leave tank. Is it main tank? Yes, please, good sir. Because we've got to go and put some stuff on the up and cotton place, Clinton Harrods. Um, small world gallery, yeah. Let's put some stuff in. Right, what have we got in here so far? Okay, let's have some orange tongue clownfish. Fish, because they're kind of cool. Flutchy Swell Shark, yeah. By the way, I saw. I went back to, um. The uh, Valka Castle and looked. I looked more carefully into the egg and I could see the tiny little shark. It was really cute. Hello! You're all weird. Seriously. Ugh. Um. I don't think we found any small fish in the cold waters. Oh, no we did. Yeah, that'll do for now. Just because they're the only things we've found. Um, and then tropical rivers. We haven't gone to a tropical river yet, have we? No. Or have we? <laughs> no, we haven't. Just wanted to make sure they didn't count anything specific as the deep. We obviously haven't been to yet either. Right. Again, I'm, I'm still being boring. I suppose it's because I've got to kind of focus on this. Uh, just so I can make my crappy arrangement choices. I mean, I could do auto-placement, but I want to put in fish that I like, so... You know, if you don't like it, then pooty... Yay! Little polar bears! Little polar bears! You're so cute! Uh-huh. I think we've got to put baby ones with everything we see. Oh yeah, we never saw baby Weddell seals in the previous game. They were really cute. They're really cute, trust me. Put in as well. Hmm. I think put in a bird. Brown booby. Yeah. <laughs> Just because then people can laugh at the name. And you know, that's important in a museum. Look, little tiny middle seals! So cute! Hello. See? Look at that. They were cuter in the last game when you could stroke them. Because... Here you go, little fella. Here you go. Because they, like, rolled over and made little noises. Anyways, um... So that's fantastic. And I don't know how to leave. Um... So... 
this has been Skulkid 3 and in random disjointed part number 8, probably, it's got to be a really high number by now, uh, of Let's Play Endless Ocean 2 Adventures of the Deep, I hope you will join me in future parts where I'm actually going to do stuff, I promise. Um, I don't think there are any more outstanding requests, so let's hope that in the next part is going to be storyline. That's what I mean, that's what I'm planning to do, but life is a bitch sometimes. Um, so, this is the exit, and I will see you... I'm Bob Island. Um, and I will see you in the next part. Goodbye. Just gonna... I'm not gonna stop the recording this very second, just in case something happens at the Nine Ball Island, uh, which would need to be on camera. I hope not, because there's ten seconds left of the video, and there's not gonna be time to show anything. Good, good. Right, um, I'll see you in the next part. Goodbye.